1850, the park was built and, and left for Sir Robert Peel, who was a founder, member of the police force, or the founder of the police force, should I say. I think, I think it took about 12 years for them to raise the funds for the park. To raise the funds, they had various fairs um, and galas um, to get the cost for, and it was dedicated to the, the people of Bradford. Last few years, we've had a, 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 a a huge cyclocross event in the park. This coming January, it's the actual national cyclocross championships are being held in Peel Park, which is a, a big event. The park is maintained by the in-house council service teams, Parks and Landscape Service, who are uh, based in Peel Park Depot just behind us here. Not only this park, but they cover of a number of other parks and recreation grounds in, in Bradford East area. Generally things are done on a, a, a two weekly or three weekly maintenance cycle, depending on the need. The recreation and bowling greens are cut twice weekly. Other grass areas are cut once every three weeks. Play areas are routinely inspected for damage and maintenance and things like that. So it's an ongoing maintenance programme throughout the, throughout the season. We've got to try and make sure the paths and especially the steps are clear of leaves. But as you can imagine, you do it one day and you come in the next day and they're just as bad. But he seemed to be doing it, so the public seemed happy with that. In the nurseries, we have about six staff who work in there and they prepare all the bedding plants. They grow a lot from seed, but they also buy a lot of seedlings in. In the winter time, our main duties are hedge trimming and shrub bed pruning. Also, we bed out the winter bedding plants. I think the lake area is one of the best features of Peel Park. The wildlife on the on the pond attracts people. Kids come in, young parents with kids come in to feed the ducks, etc. They just made a new attraction just by the side of the pond, like they call it the Bug Hotel, which is the a, a habitat for bugs and, and small insects to to house themselves in. They've just done a little wild flower garden just behind the Bug Hotel, so it's a developing area and it's it's one of the big, you know, more sort of better attractions really. Lister Park or Manningham Park as it's more locally known was given to the city of Bradford by Samuel Cunliffe Lister, the famous uh, mill owner that built Lister's Mill just up the road and a lot of houses around there and in fact it was like a, a model village with the park attached to it from the mill down the streets down into the park. Cartwright Hall that sits in the middle of Lister Park, um, a big art gallery which it is now, was owned by Professor Cartwright, um, who invented the spinning looms. So there's a, a potted history there with Bradford as well that links in very nicely. Again, it was handed over to the, the city of Bradford people back in the late 18th century. One of our main parks, in fact, is our most prestigious park. In 2006, it won an award for Britain's best park. And it's become really good. There's, there's about six or seven permanent members of staff that work in Lister Park alone. A new boat pavilion was, was built, new cafe, new bandstand. Far end of Lister Park, we have a fantastic botanical garden with a superb stream running through it. There's a collection of plants in that botanical garden from all over the world, which has a fantastic range of varieties and colours all through the summer season and winter as well. Uh, and it's, I, I would say Lister Park is our, our most frequented park by visitors in Bradford and, and from elsewhere as well. The Mogul Gardens is a fantastic piece of design and innovation and it links, it's surprising, it links in very well with the, the park itself and, and Cartwright Hall. You know, it's a fantastic design with all the sandstone that was used, the fountains, and hot summer days, kids are in the fountains, in the water, it's, it's, it's packed with people. <laughs>